Well, I'm Bill Doyle. I'm the president and CEO of Vistar Corporation. Our mission when we started this was to simply remove the antigenic proteins from natural rubber latex. What we found is that we were able to create a much better latex that can be used throughout the industry. And what we also saw is that by putting in place our ability to help them from a technical, regulatory, and marketing standpoint for any of those manufacturers that want to use Vitex as their base raw material, we're there to help them. Well, if you take away the proteins as a raw material, then the manufacturers when they're making a glove or a catheter or a condom or whatever else they make out of natural rubber latex, they generally have to take steps in order to remove those proteins. By us having removed 95% of them as a raw material, we've cut down the work they have to do on that end product once it becomes that end product. In other words, a glove doesn't have to be leached five to ten times in order just to remove the proteins. In doing so, though, we also removed the non-rubbers. We remove the lutoids, we remove the Frey Wesseling. So we've given them more rubber to work with in our natural rubber latex, our Vitex product. Um, so what started out being just that protein issue has actually wound up being something that they could use. And in some cases, they use less of our raw material to produce the same amount of end product, especially in the adhesives industry, that they had before. To help us quantify, what these end product manufacturers could say if we developed an Excel-based calculator. And in it, they just take their raw materials as they are now and their entire process and they figure it out. And then they apply it to what they would do with Vitex and what they've seen with Vitex. Whether they can remove some of the accelerators or some of the, the compounding chemicals, whether they can remove steps such as leaching and chlorinating, whether they can help uh, actually produce more adhesive as an end product. If they're going to save on water, and if they're going to save on electricity, and they're going to have to heat the water if they're going to leach, this is all part of that calculator. So it's, it's just something that we would send to them and not stand over their shoulder while they do it and let them sit back with their team and figure out, okay, Vitex costs this, natural rubber costs this, or some of the synthetics cost this. But when the grand scheme of things, if I use Vitex, my cost of goods is really this as opposed to this and this when you really come down to it. We saw that people with powdered gloves had a worse reaction than people with just uh, exam gloves that were not powdered. The powder is talc. Talc is aluminum hydroxide. After going through the majority of the periodic table to figure out what it was that could interact with the proteins and possibly pull them out of solution and centrifuging, we, we quickly saw that aluminum hydroxide, once we as a team put that into a slurry form so that it wouldn't harm the latex. We were able then to introduce it into the latex in the stirring phase, have it centrifuged, and out comes the aluminum and out comes the proteins. If you have a synthetic glove on this hand and a natural rubber latex glove on this hand, preferably a Vitex glove on this hand, what you're wearing on this hand is an oil field. You have got a synthetic product that in process to turn it into the synthetic raw material, you have gone through actually quite an extensive process just to get it to this point before it ever gets dipped and turned into a glove. On this hand, you have a product that comes out of a tree and is centrifuged and is compounded and dipped and then packaged and sent off. On this hand, you've got a product that comes from a tree that took seven years to mature, 25 years worth of being able to tap the tree every, every day, every second day however long, and then at that point in time the tree is cut down and used as furniture. Another two trees are put up in its place. Over here, well, you just don't have that. Well, what Vitex inside or made with Vitex NRL means for the producers of these 40,000 products that contain simply is that all we want to do is we want to be the raw material, very much like Intel inside is. Intel doesn't make the computer. Intel is simply the processor that's in there, and they help those producers by going out and marketing the attributes of what an Intel processor is like. Same scenario here. Vitex NRL gives a manufacturer more total rubber in their, in their product. We've removed all the non-rubber products. We help them then using Vistar professional support by being there from a technical standpoint, no matter where you are in the world during your trials or your manufacturing, to help you through the trial phase and then stay with you through the manufacturing phase. 
we have the regulatory aspect of it, where if you have to deal with EPA or you have to deal with FDA or any of the European groups, we're there for that also. We have the expertise along those lines. And then most important is when it comes to the actual production of this and the marketing of this, we're simply there to keep promoting Vitex NRL. We're not there to compete with the producers of these 40,000 products. We're there to help them market it.